is the first day of spring, but Mother Nature apparently didn't get the memo. Mike Brookbank shows us where we can escape the cold and find some color around town. The umbrellas are hanging from the ceiling at the Cleveland Botanical Garden, protecting visitors from April showers, even though it's still March. And we'll be entering through a flower pot to get to where the adventure awaits. The adventure is part of the Botanical Garden's big spring celebration. It's the perfect cure to cabin fever. The season change is already in full bloom on day one, with more than 30,000 flowers to help brighten those winter-weary eyes. And that includes everything ranging from tiny little Pushkinia bulbs to hyacinth and tulips and daffodils and alliums and hydrangea and lilies. There's no shortage of fun for the kids, with performances on the Toadstool Theater and a giant hedge maze that's sure to be a hit. Everyone in Cleveland's been just waiting for it to get warmer, and so spring is arriving a little bit early at the garden. Big Spring opens this weekend. Go to my Facebook page for more information. You might be hearing screams of yes at some popular Cleveland locations as some couples in love take a leap of faith. It's National Proposal Day, the day future brides and grooms stop hesitating and ask their significant other to marry them. So it got us thinking about some of the best places in Cleveland to pop the question. Topping our list in random order, the Cleveland Museum of Art. Pop a ring on that finger next to a Picasso. The beauty of University Circle's Wade Oval Park might help set the mood for success. Find Nemo and your courage at the Greater Cleveland Aquarium. You can share your love in front of the sharks. Don't worry, they won't be jealous. Cavalier fans, she said yes! And finally, steal the spotlight from athletes at the Q and Progressive Field. If you're gonna propose, you might as well go big or go home, alone. For The List, I'm Mike Brookbank. Cavalier